welcome back to Natural Beauty with Melanie. Today I am here to tell you about the beauty news from October. Um, we are in November now, but I still have our ghost up and our Halloween decorations around the house. It's on my list for this weekend to take the things down. I need to do it with the kids or else I think they'll come home and be like, where'd the ghost and everything go? Um, okay, so I'm going to start off with beauty news from Beauty Heroes. So the um, Beauty Heroes box for October was Wakina Botanica, and there were two products, the Hydrating Glow Oil and the Hydrating Essence with Calendula and Peptides. So this is what the box contained in October, and um, I had a separate video on me unboxing it, and then a follow-up video a few weeks later at the end of the month of October. Um, letting you know my thoughts on the products. So there's those videos, but um, I really enjoyed them and I'm really happy with that box. Okay, next up, Le, Le Prunier Plum Beauty Oil is back in stock at Beauty Heroes. And I saw this announcement at some of the other stores too. Like, I don't remember whether it was Detox Market or Credo and stuff, but I, it seems like this Plum Beauty Oil is back in stock in a lot of stores. Maybe Petty Vore had it too. Um, and if you remember, this is the beauty oil that Chrissy Teigen commented on, like changed her life or something. And like, it just blew up and went crazy in the last few years. And it's really just like a single ingredient plum seed oil. So I don't actually know. I didn't look up the cost of it and everything, but, um, I don't know if it's something that would interest me in the future or not. It's not really something I'm too concerned about, but, um, it's back in stock if it's something you're interested in. Next up is um, Violets Are Blue came out with a magnesium deodorant and this is considered a healthy aluminum free and it's free from baking soda and essential oils. This was also the Love More gift for Beauty Heroes. If you spend $125 or more in the month of October, this was the Love More gift that you got as a bonus. So it's 3.2 ounces and in the description it said it's overfilled and it's a lot more than your typical deodorant. The cost of it is $25. So I didn't look at my own deodorant to see how many ounces it is and the cost, etc. But I don't know if I would spend $25 on a deodorant. Pretty sure no. Um, I am just using like a seventh generation one now. Actually, my mom had been using it and it didn't work for her. So she gave me it and it's working fine for me. And I have like some other ones in my closet, like Schmitz and Native, some other ones to try when I finish this. So I'm not like super picky about deodorants, so I don't think this is really something I'm too concerned about. So a new brand at Beauty Heroes is Rye Beauty and their Hero product, which is the only product they have, is the Brow Growing Serum and it's a clear brow gel. It's $42 and in this description, it also said it's double the size of most brow serums. Um, and they don't have, like I said, they, there's no other products from this brand yet. Um, you can see my eyebrows, they're thick. Um, this is them waxed and shaped and everything, but I don't need any growing serum for my eyebrows. So not something that is going to be on my radar. Inner Sense Beauty came out with the Serenity Smoothing Cream, which has organic avocado and coconut oils and baobab and mango seed butter. And it is supposed to smooth the hair cuticle without weighing it down. And it is six ounces and I will put the cost down below because I wrote two, which I'm pretty sure it's not $2. <laughs> um, I don't really use like a smoothing cream. Um, I don't really use a lot of products on my hair, so it's nice that they came out with it, but it's not something I'm gonna be looking to purchase. Beauty Heroes did an ingredient spotlight on hydroxy apatite, which is a natural mineral that makes up 97% of our tooth enamel, and it supports the remineralization of teeth and David's Toothpaste is newly using this ingredient and Risewell has already been using this ingredient. It's funny because um, I don't use, a, I use toothpaste bits from Bite to try to like get rid of using a toothpaste tube. We still use kids' toothpaste for my kids um, in the tube. But for me, that's like kind of a step I've tried to take towards like supporting the environment and stuff. And I did actually ask the kids' pediatric dentist um, in the last, few weeks when we went for the kids his thoughts on it and he just said like in what context and I said as an adult I'm using it and he's like yeah it's great he's like it remineralizes the teeth um so he seemed to you know be in support of it 
So, but I think, you know, controversial, but like fluoride is what's suggested for children by at least this dentist. And I know like mainstream dentist, um, you know, still support the fluoride use. I don't really even know where I stand on that yet. They actually painted the fluoride on my son's teeth for the first time at the dentist this time. So it's, I have like an article on fluoride and potential like neurotoxicity open on my phone. So I'm going to need to educate myself on that and decide where I stand. One of the toothpaste we have, like the one downstairs has fluoride in it for the kids and the one upstairs doesn't. And I just purchased more with no fluoride. I think our water might be fluoridated. Um, so I don't know. I just don't know where I stand on that yet. But anyways, hydroxy appetite is like a real um, popular ingredient these days and some toothpaste, like the more natural ones. So October was Breast Cancer Awareness Month and they just, um, Beauty Heroes just kind of talked about a few different products like the magnesium deodorant from Violets Are Blue. She, the founder, is a 10-year breast cancer survivor. And Yina, which used to be 5 Yina, has a decolletage treatment bomb. And they were kind of um, featuring that a little bit this month because I think it's to be used like here and also like on your chest and your breasts. You can use it for breasts like self exam self exams you know so those are some products that they featured for breast cancer awareness month and alpine beauty is new to beauty heroes and i am seeing this brand show up i think it's shown up on every like beauty heroes credo detox market this month so this is definitely a very popular new brand i bet we'll see a box in beauty heroes and with alpine beauty soon if i had to guess or at least in 2022 I'm gonna predict there's gonna be an Alpine Beauty box. Um, so it the brand is made by a woman, Kendra Kolb Butler, who's from Manhattan, but moved to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And the theme of the brand or like the ethos is wild crafting, which is harvesting plants from their natural wild habitat. Uh, fav in, favorite ingredient in their products is Bacuchiol and also Rambutan which is a super fruit for hydration and protection of the skin. And they're also a member of 1% for the planet. I don't know anything specifically on that organization, but you know, I think they're also environmentally conscious. So they have a handful of products, wild huckleberry eight acid polishing peel, $56, creamy bubbling cleanser, $36, wild nettle and niacinamide firming serum $58 calming midnight mask $68 and they also have the triple c brightening bounce cream $49 and they have a proprietary ingredient complex called plant genius and it features wild arnica and chamomile barrage calendula and sage and the products that have this proprietary ingredient complex are the survival serum the Melt Moisturizer, which has Bacuchiol and Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin C, that's $60. And their Line Filling Eye Balm, which has Bacuchiol and Caffeine, $62. I don't know if the Triple C Brightening Bounce Cream has the Plant Genius Proprietary Ingredient Complex. I don't think so, but don't quote me on it. Okay, so another brand that they featured, which I think I mentioned last month, but I'm just going to mention again, is Nature of Things. And their whole collection, with the exception of their scrubs and cleansers, features CBD. And I am also going to predict that Nature of Things is going to be a featured brand in the Beauty Heroes box sometime in the next year, I would say. Um, Wabi Sabi Botanicals came out with the Blessing 3-in-1 Reparative Hydra Serum which is supposed to be soothing, reparative, and refining. It's a water-based serum for evening use. It's a retinol alternative. The retinol alternative in it is moth bean, which boosts cell renewal, powerful antioxidants, resveratrol, hibiscus to gently exfoliate, fermented cacao to protect, repair, and calm skin. And it's purple and it just looks so beautiful to me. I actually just finished one of their products. The only product I've tried from Wabi Sabi Botanicals, um, The Giver, which is their coffee scented cleansing oil. And it was really unique and beautiful. So I think this looks intriguing. Um, it's not really like on my wish list yet, but it's like men mentally noted that it looks interesting. Fit Glow Beauty has a refillable eyeshadow palette. 
your choice. You choose between 12 multi-use colors that can be used as a shadow, blush, illuminator, or brow color, and or. <laughs> Lavinia has their Green Caviar Skin Renewal Elixir. I've never tried anything from this brand. Um, this is an overnight retinol oil, which uses retinoic acid ester, retinol, retinaldehyde, I think that's how you say it, <laughs> bacuchiol, and rambutin, and ceramide NP. And this, these ingredients are all supported by a cold-pressed caviar oil. I did not write down the price, but I'll note that below. Um, I don't know about that brand. Some of their stuff is very, like, it's all, like, a lot, so a lot of it is, like, colorful, like, blue. Their, one of their masks they have is, like, super, like, kind of royal blue. And they have, like, a dragon's blood, I think, cleanser, which is super red. And I think this one is green, if I recall. So they definitely seem to be, like, I don't want to say a showy brand, but more, I don't know. I don't know how you would describe it. Just something I've noted. There's a lot of very colorful products and whatever. Eri Perez has their Jojoba Eye Pencil, which is an eye pencil with anti-inflammatory, antioxidant properties, and it comes in three shades, clay, stone, and gold. Now onto the detox market. Foria is new at detox market. I don't know if you remember me talking about this brand in a previous um, beauty news. It's a sexual wellness brand. Beauty Heroes had them. Um, so there are sexual products with CBD, so they have um, arousal oils, intimacy sex oils, intimacy suppositories, intimacy bath salts, relief suppositories, and relief bath salts, and all of those things have CBD in them. I've never used any of their products. The October box for Detox Market is featuring, I don't know if it's Licks Me, it's LXMI, and they feature the Pure Nilotica melt, which I happen to have. This was part of a gift with purchase, um, like w from somewhere <laughs> that I got. So anyways, that's what this is like. I think it's, I think, I think that Nilotica is shea butter. Um, so this is like a thick, um, kind of, I'd say like kind of greasy. Um, yeah, it's, it does definitely smells like just kind of like raw shea butter, you know, with no other essential oils or anything. So this is a nourishing balm to oil. And it says squeeze out balm and massage into skin. Use as an overnight face mask or as needed to deeply moisturize. Moisturize. I would, I, I don't know if I would use this as like a night mask. Maybe if my skin was super dry, but it's very greasy. Um, so I guess it really depends on your skin if, you know, how easily your skin clogs and all that kind of stuff. This could be probably really nice if your skin was really dry on your face, but I think it could be nice. Probably, I don't know how I'll use this product. I haven't gotten around to it yet, but because it's like greasy and thick, definitely seems like ideal for the winter and maybe like a fate, like a hand cream, or if you have any really dry spots, you know what might be nice for like a foot cream. That could be nice. Maybe I'll use that. This is a foot cream. Anyways, so this was one of the products in the detox box and the other was their 33 face oil, which I've never used or owned. So again, um, Detox Market also e had emails about uh, Alpine Beauty's Triple C Brightening Bounce Cream, which is $49 and I believe it's 1.7 ounces. And it has three forms of clinically proven vitamin C and smoothing wild chokeberry and hydrating aloe. So this Triple C Brightening Bounce Cream was featured and was definitely like a hot new product, I guess you could say. I got my Starbucks this morning. I get it like about once a week as a treat. <laughs> um, so Detox Market has come out with their gift gift guide and it's broken with like under $25, under 50, under 100, over 100. And there's gift sets for Ilia, Herbivore, Goop, True Botanicals, Naturopathica, Briogeo, Cora, Bittner's Daughter, Bathorium, Kayer Weiss. And um, I thought that, I don't really know anything about True Botanicals, but their set, it's like $125 for $236 value. I just thought it looked interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know anything about the brand or, and I, I am not gonna just get products at random. So 
it just looked tempting, you know? Something about the gift sets, like the way they're packaged, so pretty and paired and stuff. They just, they look nice, you know? I don't know. I'm excited about this holiday season. <laughs> Osea has the anti-aging C serum, and I also saw this along some of the different companies. I think maybe also Credo. And uh, yeah, when I get to the Credo, I put, we'll talk about in the Credo section. So we'll talk about that more in a few minutes. Audacite came out with their Soul Soothing Relaxing Bath Soak, which has lavender, neroli, and patchouli. Right now, my main bath product is Live Botanical. I don't even know if they sell it anymore because I think I was looking at their website the other day and I didn't see it, but it's like a, it's a, I think it's a milk, milk bath or something and you sprinkle it in and it smells nice like in the jar, but I put it in the bath and I don't smell anything or get anything from it. I just seem to be like, I have a hard time. It seems like when I use bath salts, I am underwhelmed with the experience. And then now using this milk bath stuff, I'm underwhelmed. I don't know if you need to use like a huge amount. I like bubble baths, so that might just be my preference. Um, I have, I'm trying to think, I do have an um, Audacity bag of bath salts that I haven't opened that was with a gift with purchase. So that'll probably be like, once I finish the Libotanical one, I'll use this. And I'm hoping maybe like that's a cool experience and maybe that'll help me like bath salts because they're a very popular um, product, but I just haven't jived with it yet or found the right one. Fit Glow Beauty, which I has their Protein Plant Brow Gel, which I think I featured previously. Um, Sade Baron has the product Volcano, which is for body blemishes and it's a supercharged body wash. It's jet black and it's, uh, has detoxifying activated charcoal. Thankfully, I don't suffer from any body acne. So this is not a product that I would be looking to purchase. Um, and Satya and Sage has their sacred candle, which has non-toxic coconut wax and a clean burning cotton wick and has the scents of cassis and jasmine. Now we are on to Credo. Credo featured their Violets Are Blue Eye Gel, which Beauty Heroes was in the Beauty Heroes box in September, if you recall, and I like that eye gel. Um, so Credo is now talking about it as well. Maya Chia came out with their Powerful Eyelash Eyebrow Treatment. It's a serum which encourages long, full, healthy lashes and brows and added volume. It's 0.27 ounces, so less than a third of an ounce, and it's $110. I was like, what? So I know that it's for hair growth um, and I don't need this, thankfully. I am thankful that I don't have any hair growth issues. Well, mine are more like overgrowth, if anything, with my eyebrows and stuff. Um, but you know, I did get my hair cut recently and the, the, my, the one woman who cuts my hair is like sort of a friend as well. And she was just saying like the thinning hair or the hair growth market is like a billion dollar industry. Like, trying to help people who have issues with like thinning hair and everything now. Like I've mentioned, I have really thick hair. Um, and actually when I get my hair cut, they, they take like these scissors that thin it out. So they take like, um, weight and mass out of my hair. <laughs> um, so I kind of, I don't have any thin hair issues or lack of hair growth. Um, but I know that, you know, for family, friends and stuff who do suffer from like thinning hair and stuff, it's definitely, a concern because I understand women want like full hair and worry about you know thinning hair so it's an expensive product I don't I don't know much about um, hair growth products and the typical cost but I was shocked by that price by the beauty BYBI like I said I never know how to say it um, they have their Bakuchiol skin restore which is a lightweight night cream it's $18 for 1.4 ounces that's very affordable and it helps smooth fine lines during sleep my friend uses their like Bakuchiol booster and she loves it. And she said it's really affordable and it sells out a lot. So I've never used anything from their um, brand so far. So another um, brand that was featured on Credo, I don't know if it's this whole like, so Bloom Effects is the brand and I don't know if the black tulip line is new or you know what the case was, but I didn't know anything about Bloom Effects. So I looked them up. They're, they're known for their using like the properties of the tulip and they're calling it field to face, which I have not heard before. You know, I've heard like farm to table, those kind of things. This is field to face, which is the first time I heard that. 
All their products are formulated with proprietary Dutch tulip complex. So they have a few products here in their black tulip line. And one of them is their overnight retinoid serum, which is a rejuvenating night retinoid serum to help lift firm and brighten skin. That's $119 for 0.88 ounces. Their black tulip facial treatment is $94 for 1.7 ounces. Instantly hydrates, energizes, and softens skin. Their black tulip eye treatment is $80 for half an ounce. That is a hydrating eye gel that reduces puffiness, dark circles, and fine lines. And these are all rich in antioxidants and natural have natural moisturizing functions and amino acids. That's for all of these products. So I've never used anything from Bloom Effects and those products seem pretty expensive. I'd be curious if any of you have used any of them. I mentioned Everest before in a previous beauty news. They're the company that uses concentrated formulas that you, they, it was a shampoo and a conditioner and it's super concentrated and you like take a little bit and you mix it with water to make your shampoo or conditioner. Now they have a waterless body wash concentrate. Um, it was out of stock on Credo, so I couldn't get like the stats on the cost or anything. But, um, you know, if you're looking for a waterless body wash concentrate, this is something you could look into. I think that I've really settled on bar soaps. I love bar soaps. Um, I prefer them to body wash. So I think that's the most like environmentally friendly thing versus using like something that comes in a tube. Although I think these come in metal tubes, which are recyclable. But for me, I like these bar soaps that I'm really using a lot of Osmia soaps right now. And also I'm really trying out some of the Sunny Ruckus soaps made by Marie. Um, so buying body washes isn't really on my radar. Again, I have noted Credo also focused on the Triple C Brightening Bounce Cream from Alpine Beauty. So we know everyone's into that. Aether came out with their Big Bang Mascara, which is a black diamond powder infused mascara with a unique facet shaped brush and that is $28. Tower 28 has their Sunny Days Tinted SPF Sunscreen Foundation which is $30. That was out of stock as well and it is supposed to have leave you with a supernatural looking matte finish and they have that in 14 shades. Right now for SPF I either am using Babo Botanicals Tinted Sunscreen or the Coco Kind Sunscreen so that's what I use on my face. I have not been as good with it in the fall as I was in the summer. So I'm trying to remind myself each day to put it on. PYT Beauty has their one and done setting spray, $16 for 3.4 ounces, has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, aloe leaf juice, and rose hip extract. And it is an ultra fine setting spray for $16. Han Skincare Cosmetics has a liquid concealer, which is a long wear concealer to help even skin tone has squalane, rosehip oil, and green tea, and they have some new shades, and there's seven shades total for $18. I have one of their liquid concealers from um, a Petty War box, and I use it sometimes, so that's nice. Aether also came out with their Radiant Ruby Lip Cream in $28, for $28. They're, this is a newcomer lip cream, which has ruby power infused formula, Perfect cross between a high pigment lip, liquid lip, and a wet oil, and wet oil gloss, and they have six shades. A new brand featured at Credo, which has five items total on sale at Credo, is Dr. Elsa Youngman. It's J-U-N-G-M-A-N, so I don't know if it's Jungman. So she has a PhD in skin pharmacology, and she developed... Um, a revolutionary skin microbiome test, which is $149. You take it at home and you mail it in to receive an analysis of your microbiome and custom tips for your best skin yet. <laughs> they have, like I said, five products. So some of the products are the Begin Again Gentle Cleanser, which is an ultra gentle oil cleanser with four plant-based ingredients. And that's $40 for two ounces. They have four different, three different serums. So Oat Power Moisturizing Serum, which is $70 for half an ounce for oil to combo skin. They have their Start Over Moisturizing Serum, which is for balance to dry skin also, $70, half an ounce. And their Bio Restore Moisturizing Serum, which is for dry skin, and that's $70 for half an ounce.
Okay, I told you I would tell you more about the Osea Anti-Aging C Serum, which is for your face. It's a super silky serum, which helps target signs of aging with a potent combination of vitamin C, ceramides, niacinamide, seaweed, and peptides. And that's $88 for one ounce. That is pricey. I think I mentioned before about Hanua Hawaiian Skin Care's um, Hibiscus Hyaluronic Acid Beauty Booster Serum. But I'm just going to mention it again. It is an antioxidant-rich blend of hero ingredients, including hyaluronic acid, astaxanthin, and hibiscus. And that is actually out of stock at Credo right now. I don't know about... I, I know that Beauty Heroes is also carrying it, so I don't have the stats on the costs and everything. Um, but I think I might have mentioned it previously. Indy Lee has their Nourishing Lip Tint, which is $26. They have three different colors. And they have these lip tints have olive-derived squalane and vitamin E that hydrates, plumps, and keeps chapped lips at bay. Credo also talked about the Inner Sense Serenity Smoothing Cream, which we also already addressed. And K.R. Weiss has a new lip collection of fiery red shades for every skin tone, and those are $48 each. K.R. Weiss's products are pricey compared to many other products. The brand in beauty project has a new mask called green machine which i might have mentioned before as well and that has a blend of eight acids licorice and green superfoods kale and spirulina that's 28 dollars for 1.7 ounces my friend had my neighbor friend had also mentioned their one of their serums which sounds intriguing maybe i'll check it out at some point but i've never used anything from this brand so far um, I don't even know if this is new, but I just saw this mask and I thought it was super interesting and just like really unique looking. Um, it's the Bio Retinol Gold Mask from Evolve Organic Beauty. It has, the key ingredients are smoothing bio retinol, organic rosehip oil, and vitamin E rich argan oil. And it's $34 for two ounces. And I'm just like, it just looks like this beautiful gold mask. I feel like it would be so interesting to use. That's just something that is very visually appealing. So another new brand at Credo is Clure. I think that's how you say it. It's K-L-U-R. It's a high performance skincare developed specifically to work on all skin tones and it is founded by an esthetician. And they have, so th there's a lot of bioactive botanicals and potent retinol, potent vitamin A, C, and B combine in this nightly multi-corrective treatment, which is their Stellar Restoration Retinol Serum. And it's used to calm, clarify, and smooth skin for a stellar glow. And that's $110 for one ounce, which is quite pricey. Some other products from this brand are the Brilliant Light Multi-Correctional Repair Serum, $88 for one ounce which is ultra brightening, has ultra brightening vitamin C serum to counteract signs of damage and reveal a healthy illuminated complexion for all skin tones. They have their Symmetry Fluid Anti-Pollution Serum, which is $70 for one ounce. Vitamins, antioxidants, and energy rich phytonutrients combine to form a breathable barrier against pollutants and to boost skin's radiance. They have a Supreme Seed Purification Mask, which is $60 for two ounces. And it's a weekly treatment with, with, and it is a unique non-drying clay mask. And they also have a cleanser, serum concentrate, face oil, body oil, and an exfoliating green. Lastly, Credo has also come out with their Clean Beauty Gift Guide. And so some of the gifts, like the gifts that look very interesting, or I just featured a few of them here. They have one with Osea, which is their, it has a full size set of body care, including their best selling salt scrub and algae body oil. And the cost of this gift is $60, but has a $90 value. And Ilia has um, their after hours gift, which is an evening for like evening look, essential evening look. Um, and it has three must haves, which Two of the three are full-size bestsellers, and that's $48 with a $75 value. Herbivore has a three-step routine, which are the bestsellers with also the retinol alternative serum, and it's $50 for an $81 value. And Bybe Beauty has three daily skincare essentials for $28, and it has a $44 value. I think those are minis. 
They also have some, like a gift featuring Goop, the brand Goop, and also they have stocking stuffers and other things. So I love looking through those little gift sets. I just, like I said, I think they're just so pretty. So that is everything I have for the beauty news for October. I hope you enjoyed it. There's a lot of interesting things out there, new brands, new shades, new products coming out all the time. I'd love to hear any of your comments or if you're interested in any of these products, if you have like a mental wish list or an actual wish list where you add things, I'd love to hear about it. Um, yeah, so please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or found it helpful. Click the subscribe button so you'll be alerted for when the next video comes out. And I look forward to seeing you again soon and thank you for watching. Bye.